Spawn was making sure of himself, shooting, dodging, disappearing, but Alucard was much more better, not to mention he has a ravaged beast of dogs from within, this dark and strange power. Spawn was terrified. He had never seen anything like it. You bastard. What the fuck are you? Why, I'm your fucking nightmare, my dear. Spawn growled. Hey, that's my line, he says. Oh, really? Well, you are a fucking nightmare. Pardon me for using such foul language, but I must admit you're making quite an impression on yourself. You really think I want it to be like this? Hmm. No, I guess not. And by the way, I never knew about your existence. I never knew you and I were the same. That's when Spawn revealed his disfigured face. Does this look like we're the same? Alucard's eyes widened for a moment. And that's when he let out a laugh. <laughs> So that's what you look like. You know, I would love and stay and finish the battle, but I'm willing to hear from your side of things. You see, I don't have time to play with demons. There is such catastrophe. I think you're quite aware that there's vampires. Perhaps maybe we can put aside our differences, and you can forgive me this whole imposter incident if you help me take down the vampires. Spawn agreed. And so, it looked like the two most dangerous creatures of them all were going to take down the vampires. It wasn't easy facing all of them, of these Nazi vampires, but Alucard was quite skilled and so was Spawn. Once that was over, Spawn realized that there was a woman walking in to the street with a man. It was a black woman with short hair, short curly hair. Her husband beside her was having an arm around her shoulder. Their child was nearby. They were just one big happy family. Spawn looked down. Alucard couldn't help but notice. Hmm, fascinating. You know this woman? Wanda, Spawn said. Wanda? Hmm. Quite intriguing. What do you see in this woman anyway? If I tell you, I want to hear from your side of things. Alucard nodded. Of course. A fair trade, if you don't mind me saying. Good. So, Spawn managed to tell Alucard about his life. Alucard told his. So they just reached an agreement on things. Cereza came back. Master? <clears throat> Sorry for all the trouble. Cereza, my dear, what happened? Cereza did not respond to her master. Instead, she walked right over to Spawn, grabbed him by the neck, and pulled her close to her. Listen here, you better Make sure that Violator Demon does not go near anybody else. That evil bastard. If I see him again, or if he touches me, I am going to make sure he never touches anybody else. Spawn looked down and saw that some of her clothes were torn. Hmm. He tried to hurt you. Do something about him. He's a pain in the ass. I'll make sure he doesn't do that again. You gave him a piece of your mind. You bet I did. Now listen, Master. I believe there's also something else going on when I came over here. 
I noticed there's a lot of hellish demons around here. And I guess they're trying to put this world into chaos. Not to mention the Nazi vampires that roam around these places. I really don't like this. Alucard just put a hand on Cereza's head. Don't fret, Cereza. We'll take care of this. Spawn and I reached an understanding. Cereza couldn't help but was shocked. Oh, you did? Well, I'm glad. I don't know who this man is, but this Spawn, his real name is Al Simmons, and he's been dead for five years. Alucard said, Al Simmons? That's when Cereza couldn't help but broke her face into a grin and let out a giggle. <laughs> What's so funny? Spawn said, Hmm, Al Simmons? Alucard? I guess you two are quite alike after all. Spawn growled and was coming over to Cereza. Cereza got scared and went behind Alucard. Alucard put his hand up. Don't you even, Spawn. If you go after my Cereza, I won't be gentle. Then you better make sure she doesn't mock me on this. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you. It just seems so... Then don't compare me to this vampire again. Oh, I won't. I really won't. <laughs> uh, I, I promise I won't. So, what's the next step in our plan? Well, we're going to take down the vampires and the demons that roam around these places. And they were going to. Unbeknownst, unknown to them, there was something evil and dark that awaits for them. Okay, this is going to be a preview. Sorry if I stuttered for a bit, but also I want to let you guys know this is just a preview, but who knows, maybe if somebody will be kind enough to maybe request more, I'd be happy to do so. It's not like I'm trying to be baiting here, but if you guys really love this story, this crossover, and if you haven't seen the Dante versus Bayonetta story, I suggest you take a look at that story. Um, I'll have a link in the description below, like right down there. Sorry, I'm, I can't do the popping noise right now. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway, um, yeah. I really hope you guys like this. This is just another preview, but if you guys want me to continue, I'd be happy to. But this is the story so far, so bear with me, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for listening and watching. See you next time. Bye!